Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Normal view in PowerPoint is the default presentation view. To switch to normal view in PowerPoint, click the normal button that appears in the presentation views button group on the view tab of the ribbon. This view shows much of your presentation's content. This view contains many different panes of information you can use to change your presentation's content. The large middle pane shows the currently selected slide in the slide pane. You can change the slide objects directly on the slide in this pane. This is where you will probably make most of your editing changes in PowerPoint. Below that pane is a smaller pane into which you can enter speaker notes for the currently selected slide. You can toggle the display of this notes pane on and off by clicking the notes button in the status bar below the slide. Notes you type in this pane also appear in the notes page view. In the notes pane, you may add notes you want the speaker to use during the presentation. Every presentation slide has a corresponding notes page, so you can associate extra information with the slide without needing to display it on the actual presentation slides. You can even use the printed form of the notes page for audience handouts. At the right side of the slide pane, below the vertical scroll bar, are the next slide and previous slide buttons. You can click these buttons to move up and down through the slides in your presentation. As you create the presentation slides, slide thumbnails also appear in the slide thumbnails pane at the left side of the normal view. This pane will also show a vertical scroll bar after you add multiple slides that you can use to scroll through the slide thumbnails if needed. You can click a thumbnail in this pane to display its content in the slide pane to the right. You cannot edit the content of the slides in this pane. However, to reorder the slides in the Slide Thumbnails pane, click and drag the Slide Thumbnails in this pane up or down, and then release them in the desired spot to change the sequence of slides in your presentation. If you need to select multiple slides in the Slide Thumbnails pane, hold down the Shift or Control keys on your keyboard as you click to select either multiple adjacent, or multiple non-adjacent slide thumbnails, respectively. To enable the display of a ruler and grid lines for your slides in normal view to help you place and align slide content, check the Ruler and or Grid Lines checkboxes in the Show button group on the View tab of the ribbon to enable their display. You can click the same checkboxes again to clear the checks from the boxes and disable their display as well. To enable guidelines to help you place and align slide objects in normal view, check the Guides checkbox in the Show button group on the View tab of the ribbon. You can click and drag the guidelines that then appear to change their location on the slide. To add another guideline, hold the Control key on your keyboard and then click and drag one of the two default guidelines that appear to add another guideline of the same type. Then release the Control key when finished. To hide the guidelines, uncheck the Guides checkbox. For Microsoft 365 subscribers, you will also see a Design Ideas pane from the PowerPoint Designer service that shows design ideas for the current slide in a pane at the right side of this view. You can click a Design Idea in the PowerPoint Designer pane to apply it to the current slide. To close the Design Ideas pane, click the X button in its upper right corner. To reopen the Design Ideas pane, click the Design tab in the ribbon. Then click the Design Ideas button in the Designer button group. To change the amount of space allotted to the slide pane, slide thumbnails pane, and notes pane in normal view in PowerPoint, click and drag the window split shown between the two desired panes. If you click and drag the split between the slides and slide thumbnails pane all the way to the left, you can minimize the slide thumbnails pane.
You can then click the Thumbnails button that appears in the strip at the left side of the window to display the slide thumbnails pane again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.